Indoor navigation is an exciting new feature which allows one person to lay down a trail of virtual waypoints. Someone can then follow the route later on by following the audio cues. You can think of this like laying down a trail of breadcrumbs and following them later on. First of all, let's switch to the World Channel. If you're using a device with a LiDAR, you'll have buttons for filters and actions, and you'll find indoor navigation inside the Actions menu. Actions. Button. On other devices, you'll see indoor navigation right on the main screen. Indoor navigation. Button. Let's create a new route. Let's get started by tapping Add. Add. Button. Seeing AI shows us a few tips for how to create a route. You're going to walk with your phone held upright to allow Seeing AI to capture visual information about your environment, but no actual video is being stored. When choosing the route you're going to walk, try to keep to the edges of the rooms rather than weaving through the middle. The technology works best when there is visual contrast and not too much reflection, so try to avoid long corridors with white walls or areas with large windows and reflective surfaces. While it is absolutely possible for someone who's blind to create the route, in this case, we're going to get a sighted colleague to do this. She's going to record the route on her own device and send it to me later. Let's create the starting point. We're going to place our first waypoint here. So we should be somewhere your colleague will be likely to find it, such as near an obvious landmark. We're going to turn around to show Seeing AI the location from all angles to make it easier to find it later. Visually, you'll see a blue highlight, completed. which you want to clear. You'll hear an audio tick each time you clear a part of the area. Completed. Keep showing Seeing AI the location from different directions, tilting completed. up and down very slightly to get more angles. 44% completed. 100% completed. Now, Seeing AI has captured visual information. Remember, no pictures of the room are saved. We can enter a name for the starting point. In this case, we'll enter break room. Let's also enter a note that the starting point is next to the picnic table. I am now going to walk along the route to the coffee bar. Now walk to the destination and tap end route. As I walk, Seeing AI is creating waypoints every couple of meters, as you can hear from that sound and the ticks on the right. Now that I've reached the coffee bar, I'm going to tap Stop and enter a name for the destination. In this case, coffee bar. But I'm not going to add any notes this time. Now I'm going to share the route. I'll just tap the route and then share. Alert. Follow. Share. Button. The route will be sent as a file attachment, so I can choose any app which supports sending files. For example, I could use Mail, Messages, or AirDrop. In this case, I'll just select Messages. Messages. Button. Send button. Send message. Ah, oh, we just got a message. That must be the root. Messages. Now. Rita. Attachment. One file. Opening attachments in iOS can be quite involved. You may need to tap open or even share multiple times until you see a list of apps. Share. Break room underscore coffee bar. Seeing AI root. Then select Seeing AI. Seeing AI button. Seeing AI has been opened. See alert. Success. Root imported successfully. And the root has been imported. I'm going to select to go straight to window navigation so I can try it out. Channel. World. Preview. Actions. Indoor navigation. Button. Break room to coffee bar. Button. Let's select that. Break alert. Follow. Button. And tap follow. Now we simply follow the audio cues along the route, as we saw in the previous video. 
I'm just following the waypoints. And there's that nice sound to tell me that I've reached my destination. That's a really quick overview of Zendor navigation. This is really early technology, and we invite all feedback from the community. We want to know how you use this and how we can make it better.